Alright, welcome back to our revision control track. This is Bry again, and we're just going to continue with the track. Kasi last time, diniscuss natin sa previous lesson na yung three reasons why you're, you're going to have to use a version control system in your software development projects. So for this lesson, we're just going to discuss yung uh, approaches na ginagamit mga version control system when uh, dealing with, yun yan, mga approaches. Approaches lang. Huwag na natin pahabain pa. So first off, yung kanyang approach when it comes to collaboration, when it comes to dealing with files na minomodify ng, uh, as you call this, ng uh, isang tao, ng multiple na people, isang file gamit ng maraming tao. So, ito, we're going to use yung uh, uh, red book, red bean book ng subversion for our illustrations. Anyway, so yung problem natin is yung pinakita nga na last time. Kung hindi ka gumamit ng version control system, you will encounter a situation where mag overwrite an kayo. Kunwari gumamit kayo ng shared folder. In your control, using revision control, they have two approaches when it comes to dealing with this situation. First solution, ito yung sikat nung uh, dati pa, mga 90s. Kasi wala pa yung mga modern na uh, version control, ito yung lock locking or yung lock modify and lock solution. Sa approach na to, ang ginagawa natin, you have a, a server that allows for locking files. So dito nga, si Harry at si Sally, uh, they're working on the same file, pero nangyari rito, si Harry yung unang nag-lock ng file. So since na-lock ni Harry yung file, hindi pwede ma-lock ni Sally. So natapos na si Harry, Babatayin niya pabalik, re-release niya yung lock, and pwede na i-modify ni Sally yung file. So, there are, ano lang, there are a bunch of reasons why this approach isn't optimal. Uh, for one thing, hindi siya optimal kung maraming tao gumagamit ng same file. Kasi nagkakahintayan. Masahal na, kunwara, isang dosena kayo, nag-work sa isang project at medyo may problema kayo, may run kayo file na kailangan i-modify sabay-sabay. Uh, magkakahintayan. Tagal yun. And there are other problems, pero I guess, uh, pag-isipan na lang yun. For instance, kunwari, nakalimutan ni Harry unlock yung file. Kunwari, may ginawa siya, nakalimutan niya. So, naghihintay si Sally, sira na ngayon yung productivity ni Sally. Anyway, Yung much more modern approach is yung merging. Uh, ito yung copy, modify, merge solution. Ito nga yun sa uh, illustration natin. Ito yung ginagawa nung, uh, ginawa natin last time with subversion. Yung si Alice at si Bob, they're modifying the same file. So, then the version control was able to merge it. Dito rin, gan rin yung approach. Uh, Two users copy the same file, then pag in-edit na nila, pag sino una nagbato, walang problema. Pero in this case, si Harry siya yung huling nagbato, hindi papayagan mag-override ng change. Kailangan ng ngayon gawin eh, ni Harry is to uh, get the changes from the repository and i-merge yun ng version control system. In some cases, hindi kaya automatically emerge merge Kunwari, they're... Uh, modifying the same part of the file, kaya imposible yung uh, uh, automatic merging. In that case, si Harry ngayon, kailangan niyang may pag-coordinate kay Sally, but in the end, si Harry pa rin, kailangan niyang i-resolve yung problem. Kunwari, yun niya, kausapan niya si Sally, o oh, bakit pareho yung mag-modify tayo? Ah, mali yan, sige, okay, override na lang. So, yun. Uh, then, pag na-override na, save niya, then babatayin niya ulit sa repository. Then, in Sally's case, a-update ni Sally yung kanyang local copy. Then, in the end, pareho na yung copy nila. So, this approach is more appropriate when it comes to code. Sana akong sabay-sabay kayo nang modify at hindi same part ng file ang minumodify nyo kasi walang problema eh. Mag-update lang kayo and mag-merge, wala nang problema yun. I think the main problem with this approach is when you're dealing with files na hindi text files, when you're dealing with binary files, kunwari images or documents, hindi niya talaga kayang gawin yun kasi yung merging doesn't really work. 
So in those cases, locking might be a good uh, solution. And in other cases, uh, you might want to consider some other solution. Kumari, documents, you might want to use, say, uh, Google Docs type of approach na yung revision control is within dun sa software na yun. It's not with our uh, separate version control system. Anyway, so yun yung first strategy na discuss natin, yung uh, locking versus merging. The other approach with version control is yung repositories. Yung normal na repository na nakikita natin sa well, nang gamit natin last time dun sa merging example natin is a centralized repository. So, with a centralized repository, you have a server, obviously. So, dun nag apply dun kayo nag pull dun kayo nag commit dun kayo nag update and all that. Uh, as, uh, uh, alternative sa centralized is yung distributed. Instead na isa lang yung repository nyo, isa lang yung server nyo, Every developer, every user has their own repository. Now, this might sound weird for people na di di gets yung approach, but point with this point with this approach is hindi centralized. So everyone has their own repository. Then, kung meron changes na ginawa yung ibang tao, ang um, approach na ginagamit is sa sabihin ng tao sa yon paki pull nung change, paki update yung change using my changes. So, in this case, this is more of for, ano eh, um, open, open source. This is ideal for open source kasi ang nangyayari ito, you have a repository but you're not allowing anyone else to get, uh, anyone else to modify it. You Only you can modify it. However, you can get changes from other people. You can get code from other people. So in this case, you have an um, ideal. Ito yung ginagawa nila sa Linux. Yan, si Linux, si Linus Torvalds, siya yung parang maintainer ng sarili niyang repository. Then yung mga collaborators niya, syempre they're going to code various parts of Linux. Kung meron silang ginawang change, ginawa silang feature or bug fix, sasabihin lang kay Lin- Lin- Linus na pakipull ng changes. So, Linus would check the change, re-review niya, okay naman, i-merge yung change sa local repository niya. So, yun, it's more of a, maganda siya sa web of trust thing. And, ang, ad- ang advantage nito is, um, yun niya, decentralized in a sense na anyone can copy from anyone. So, ang approach rito, ang backup, instead na kailangan mo i-backup yung isang server, ang dating rito, hindi mo na kailangan mag-backup kasi everyone has a backup of his own. Um, so, yeah, it's ideal in open source project. It's also ideal in uh, very disciplined organizations. Kunwari, yun, you have developers, you have lead developers, and you have people who are going to sign off the code. So, yung developers, may sarili silang repository. Kakausapin na yung lead nila, pakipull ng mga changes ng ginawa ko, review ng change ng ginawa ko, and pakipull. So, pag na-pull na yun, so, do you have a way to control the changes? Then, pagdating sa sign-off, some other guy is going to pull all the changes from all the leads of all the modules and going to coordinate it. Uh, it's... Uh, in some organizations, it's might it might not work, but in some organizations, this approach might actually be a good way of controlling your changes. For not so disciplined uh, situations, you might even need to be serious. A centralized approach may be good, but yun, uh, yeah, it, it might be good for that because di na kayo masadong problema. Anyway, that's it. Yung didiscuss, yun lang yung discuss natin. There are other approaches, pero locking versus merging and centralized versus decentralized is, well, I think that's that should be okay for now. So, next lesson, discuss, well, introduce natin yung gagamitin natin software for this track.